were going on the boat so far. That man there probably could have me. So it's lunchtime and I have Willis here to do my my camera work for me, but we're taking advantage of the, the break and I fancy him, not him, the Puma. I want to take on the Puma for On The Pole, make a promotional video for On The Pole. Model Farmer driving her. If you haven't heard of Model Farmer, they make some pretty cool stuff. So I'm going to try and corner him here when he gets his load on and uh, we'll see what he's made of. Well, this wants to know what my money's on. Well. Do you know that the badge is in that thing? I think it's 175 or 185, not 100. She's a 185. I think she's a 175. Or a 175. I should have them. If she's mapped, I might not. If she's a 210, eh. I'm going with a John Deere. You have a lot of faith in me, Willis. You want a driver? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I'm making a big enough agent of myself. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, though. I'm going to pick the right gear to move off in. The last time I tried this, I picked D1. I'm going with C1 this time. So, what is this Puma? What model? 185 CDX. And what horsepower is she badged? 185 plus boost. Takes you to 225, I think. Is she mapped? No. How many hours on her? Five, six hundred and around that region somewhere. So, well opened out then. She's getting there, they say it takes the five, six hundred now to get the gear balance program. She's definitely getting there now. What's yeah. this left pedal? That's my exhaust brake. Right? Very fancy. Good job. It was a better job than orange. See the CDX and the old man, for some reason, it's just not as effective. Not sure why. You nearly know I'm not as on their farm, like. Well, hey, from wherever you joined him, he's done nothing but buy them. I never changed my driver, I didn't buy one. Aye, uh, well, I well, I suppose. I was in the last good blue one when she went, I got a red one. I suggest that you have too much authority over him. Blue. Make it make of his own mind. Blue one of the <laughs> Tell me, what you, what's your latest creation and what are you making at the moment? All the way? Yeah. You name it, John, I'm making it. Shouldn't be here, really, to be honest. What's the most popular thing you can get out the door right now? A lot of city sellers, a lot of heritage too, funny. A lot of story tankers, random make, you name it. New ones, old ones. Mostly machinery. I don't know, the Tigers just wouldn't be. Ah, that's popular at times. No water getting 18 in anywhere. Only hover there a week. So far, no. The is not really bothering me at all. There's a bit of a farmyard you have in your head, though, you're, you're, you're apprehensive about. There's a few wee places of. <laughs> it's going to be a test now, to be fair, but it's you think something. she'll take a 7 8 10? I do Chillers wouldn't be the first cars in the world. Oh, well, now, 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 my tractor's badge 175, we know best. <laughs> <laughs> I have a brave cart on behind me. Ah, oh, now, uh, excuses are ready. Is, is, that, is that you saying you don't want to have, have a fair fight? I'll take her. <laughs> Line her up. You get the loot on, my friend. We'll look for a hell. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> it's on. I don't know. Could we tighten up race? We have no doubt, I can't even see it, look! What are you talking about? Look! It's not even a problem! She's sitting at her since last time, she's sunk! Very exciting, I'll see you. I'm out of breath, because it's wrong. This is where you want to park up. Oh, he's got me. The handling has me. Good red one out there. Ah, that was tight. That was tight. But I'm beating you, boys. 
Something I can't understand. I want something else. Please. Don't be the good green one. Yeah, yeah. Can you tell me why that on the camera backwards? Aye. Well done. Fair bomb. That's a bite of it. Ah. Got it. The lead tractor is set for another day. Get a job, why bother? Fast lane life won't last the day. Treading in the water. First metal detection I've seen today. Pretty impressive. Model farmers paying for a sense day. He's uh, out uh, in the needle. This is what happens to men that beat the 7 8 10. Karma. That's called karma right there. Pressure settings are, aren't bad now. Uh, she's probably as smooth as she's going to get. She's what you'd expect now. It holds like a train. You see, once you get her into that between 1500 and 2000 RPM, that is whenever she wants to pull. I mean, you feed her gears, just keep them coming here. Then from 2000 on, you just sort of just topped out. You, you're, not, you're not gaining a lot by revving her on out if you've got another gear left. It's taken all the power, like this is a fast 40k and it's taken, like this morning there we had a good long hill pull and it's taken it all, me going flat out, just to keep up with the, the 50k guys. I mean, I am pushing, I, I really, I'd be abusing my tractor to push much harder because if it's grand on a big road like this, you keep her at it, but see them smaller roads where it's rough, it's just not worth abusing the tractor. I'm just about keeping up when I ease off on those rougher bits. You sort of look back with rose tinted spectacles in this game. Uh, loved it, still do love it. Um, I mean, hey, this is what I bought the tractor today. But I think I'll enjoy Alan's gig tomorrow a bit more because the pace of things will just be a little bit more relaxed. I find myself turning into my father. It's a scary thought, uh, never thought it would happen, always thought we were quite different, but the more I, I analyse my behaviours as I get older, the more I am turning into Leslie. So, we can not have a lot more loads to cart on this long haul, I'm not sure what the plan is, if Gavin is hanging on to me for later on, or we're dropping off, but Either way, it works for me. We've got plenty to, plenty to do back at the office. I'm guessing we've had a few uh, metal detections since because we've got four trailers in the field. <laughs> Just like that. I better go give a hand. So, take the opportunity for a walk around. No heat and hubs, that's what you want. Not that I've been doing a lot of crazy breaking. It's mostly long runs. I'd say the metal detection is something to do with 
cleaning of the shocks. And the fact this place looks like it's on a major cleanup operation. A lot of that will probably be refenced or something. There's a major gate widening ready operation on there. Digger man will love this. You can just tell, this is the sort of thing winds the digger man up. Digger man hate it whenever the back end of the digger gets a rub. Whoever did that one will get a wrap in the knuckles. We're going on well here, we've moved all of 10 yards from where he stopped beside me. This is the kind of torture. I don't know how you could be a contractor. Like, grass going down, pressure on, long haul, metal detections in the field. Grade A torture is what that man's going through right now. This is where you want to have a safe operating procedure with your crew. Basically, hands off as soon as they're in there. We debated this one time with Harry Wilson. What is the safer op operating procedure for a metal detection? What is the right procedure? I think the official manufacturer's handbook would have you turn that engine off, climb right out, down, and walk around to the front of her. I think that's a, the legally correct way, as in it's impossible to hurt someone. But on a practical level, I, I, I think all safety should be approached on a practical level. It's just not practical to do that. The best you can do is make sure your drum's not running, you put your hand off the, all the joysticks, all the buttons. I don't know. Stick in the comments below what you think the right operating procedure is to deal with metal detections where, where somebody's having to reach in there because those things don't empty themselves. They don't write empty themselves. It's impossible. You have to get someone involved. So what's the bets? Will they get down in a row? Yes or no? We'll find out. No. Hanlands. If the sheep haven't been in here, that's a head rig off. That should be us clear of metal detections for this field. Uh, I can see now he's actually just looking over the hedge here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there was a bit of torture in that field as well. Uh, great job for a wagon. Get the wagon man involved. That'll fix everything. long I'm starting to fill out whenever there's no metal and plenty of trailers. The guy was like two loads, three loads, knocked that one out. So I don't know if that's my long haul finish of the day or not. We'll find out now. So I hope to close this one out in the field but as you know the last call always comes. I don't need you back in that field. So I am home again. Everything tickety boo. Uh, don't know if I'd qualify as a long draw king. I much prefer being on the shorter, filling the field much, much more uh, kind of guy. Uh, that's tramping down the road for you know 30 minutes, half hour per load. But, uh, it's just not as much crack. 
Hard to be getting into the wet corners and on the tight hills and trying to get the loads on. That's, that's the bit I love. But Bertha and Big Red, job done. If you haven't done it already, hit that subscribe button to get notified the next time we release a video. If you enjoyed this one, give it a comment and tell us your favorite moment. We read all our comments. And finally, if you're feeling generous, give it a thumbs up.